Hi, I'm Matt, Matt Thompson, uh, Director of Product Management for the SmartCast platform. And uh, what we're looking at today is the latest in the SmartCast ecosystem. So to get things started, um, I'm going to let Echo help me out. So uh, Alexa, start the demo. Okay. So the Philip Q light bulbs come on, the TV comes on, because we have uh, Echo support uh, within our TVs. That's both the 2018 displays and going all the way back to some of the 2016 uh, SmartCast UHD displays as well. Um, what you're looking at now is a over-the-air over antenna feed, so you just have an antenna plugged into the TV, because all uh, 2018 uh, SmartCast TVs also have the antenna built in as well. But as I just showed you with uh, Alexa, oops, said it too soon, Alexa, stop. Um, I can use the Echo to control my TV. So I can, I can say, uh, Alexa, channel up. Sorry, I don't know that. Oh, I have to give her context again. Alexa, channel up on living room TV. Okay. So I can kick back on my couch and she's my voice and flip through the channels. Once you've done that once, is it going to recognize the channel up and down commands without yeah. the prompt? What happened was I, I said something else in between, so it got confused and lost the context. But since it's within the same room, it understands that. Um, now, if I were streaming content instead of just watching over the antenna, I can use things like pausing playback, fast forward, rewind, you know, skip to the next episode, a lot of basic controls. And then also if you have a routine set up like we have here, that's how you can control the lights, the TV, everything kind of all together at the same time. Um, now I'm going to go back to talk a little about SmartCast OS. So, uh, Alexa, switch to SmartCast. Okay. And it switches over to the SmartCast input where we'll bring up the uh, SmartCast TV homepage. Um, we'll talk a little bit some of the features that you can use your uh, IR remote on with. Um, but actually, before we get into that, um, I also want to talk about Google Home. So we've supported um, Google Assistant for a while now, but of course there's always new features available. So one of the things I can say is, uh, hey Google, show me the weather. Currently in New York City, it's 46 and cloudy. Today it'll be cloudy with a forecasted high of 51 and a low of 36. So rather than just hearing the feedback, you know, you can actually see it visually on the TV as well. Let me go away in just a second. So that's just seamless. You can just talk to either uh, assistant and mm -hmm. it's just listening. Yeah. So yeah, that's the thing is we're, we're working with both ecosystems. So whatever customers have within their home, whether they're more on the, the Amazon Echo side or Google Home, we're integrated at both of those and bringing lots of features with both. So now we're looking at the SmartCast TV uh, homepage. And on here, um, we have a lot of applications, but we're also um, helping users find new things to watch. So if I go here, I can go right and left on the hero banner, and we're promoting um, the latest movies are available from Fandango Now to purchase, uh, as well as all kinds of free content from Zumo or iHeartRadio or, um, yeah, I said, more content from Fandango Now. Um, and even, you know, more and more cats. Um, but of course, we go down here, we have you know, ways you can quickly launch all the all the greatest apps you might be looking for, you know, things like Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, Crackle, um, YouTube's available, and NBC, right? So you can sign in with your cable or satellite account and get access to a lot of content. Um, or uh, we also have uh, YouTube TV, which is coming soon. Um, of course, uh, sometimes, you know, there may be something particular you want to watch. Um, and you can use your IR remote control, but you can also use the uh, built-in, um, let me jump over to SmartCast Mobile. So within the SmartCast Mobile app, right, we have the full remote control here, or I can click over to here and go to the, the swipe pad. So I'm gonna swipe up to the top of the screen, and I'm gonna go over to search. And of course, search lets you uh, find content across a lot of the apps that are integrated into the SmartCast platform. But again, rather than using right, left, up, down with the remote, I'm going to click here on the keyboard, um, and I can type in something to watch. And uh, Facebook is in the news a little bit, so let's see how it all started. Let's look for the social network. So I type SOC. Um, one of the first things come up over there is a social network. I'm going to swipe over to there, click on that, 
and then you can see where it's available to watch. Not just the paid options, but we're also letting users know that, hey, you can watch it for free on Crackle. And what's great about the SmartCast uh, OS, if I click over to this, I'm going to launch Crackle. Um, what you'll notice is I don't have to download any apps. I don't have to wait for the latest version of that. It'll immediately jump into the application and start playback. Or in this case, I think it's going to play an ad first, and then it'll jump into the video. But that's a really key feature of the, the SmartCast OS is there are no, there are really no application downloads for most apps. Um, basically, you jump in and things immediately start playing. All right, so I'm going to pick up the remote. We're going to go back to the uh, home page. And the, the other thing is often you, sometimes you search for a particular piece of content. Other times you're not sure what you want to watch. You want to browse through some options. So we have both a movie and TV show page with a lot of different offerings. So I'm going to launch TV shows. Uh, and we're going here, you're going to see a couple different rows of content of different things to watch. Um, so I'm going to arrow over to uh, Rise, for example. So if I click select on here, uh, you'll get a, the same as before with the movies, where you get a lot of opportunities to watch on different platforms. In this case, right, we're featuring NBC, that that show is available free there. So again, a key feature of SmartCast OS is giving giving users all the different ways you can find something to watch and really also highlighting the free options and the subscription options, right? To help them find content where they want to watch it at the best price as well. So if I arrow out of here and then I'm going to um, highlight the next row down. So here's another example of where we're offering a lot of different free content to our consumers. Um, so through partnerships with Newsy, Zumo, and Pluto, right, we're offering MSNBC, CNBC, Newsy content, all different ways to watch content for free. No subscription needed, no sign in, you just click and it starts playing. So we're really trying to bring more and more features and more and more content to, to cord cutters of, of all ages really. And one way we're doing that is a new service that we're introducing here that will be coming soon to Vizio TVs, not just 2018 displays, but all the way back to some of the 2016 SmartCast UHD TVs. Um, and the way I access that, it acts just like any other input on the TV. So I'm going to press the input button on the remote, and we're going to switch over to what's called today Free TV. That's just our working title. We're still working on the branding of that. So when I get into Free TV, what we're offering is hundreds of free streaming channels, all different um, broadcast content, name brand content, niche content, offered through simple interface that users are familiar with. And again, this is all this is all streamed content available for free. You just change your input over, don't have to sign in, don't have to subscribe, don't have to pay, it's all offered to you. So we're watching CNBC right now. I'm going to press channel down on the remote and we'll go into uh, MSNBC now. Um, or if I want to browse something else, I can press the left button here and bring up the, the full guide. Um, it's a familiar interface, so that way, you know, cord cutters of, of all ages can get in. Even if you don't know anything about what cord cutter even means, you know how to use a program guide, you know how to use channel up and down, you can jump in and use this. So let's go up and see kind of maybe there's some movies available. Um, we'll watch this. So I'll click over to classic movie um, and immediately uh, should start playing. Or in this case, playing a commercial. It's TV. Exactly. And to, to kind of wind up where we started, um, having a Echo can also control this as well. So I can say, uh, Alexa, channel up. Okay. And flip through the channels with my voice for, for this as well. So basically we're giving customers lot, lots of options, right? You can control through voice, you control through remote, you control the phone. You can um, get your subscription content. You can get the latest movies from you know, Fandango Now or Voodoo. And we're giving them all kinds of ways to watch movies for free as well and TV shows. Cool. All right. Thank you. Appreciate the demo. Sure. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe to this channel.